our player at the lucky wheel who just won a luxury car. Yo, what is up guys? Kermo Squid here. Welcome back to another podium vehicle video. As you guys know, last time I did one of these, I said uh, I wasn't going to do one until there's either a decent vehicle or one and or one that wasn't a repeat. Well, the Grotti Turismo R is both. It has never been on the podium before. It looks very beautiful in this red spinning around behind me. I just got to say that real quick. Um, but yeah, it's a good car. Very underrated. Very underused. Very old at this point. Uh, it came out back in the time... I want to say this is one of the original cars. No, no, it's from the business update. Which, if I click this really quick, came out in March 2014. So, there you go. The Turismo R is heavily inspired by the LaFerrari. You can very, very easily see that here. Featuring the front bumper and greenhouse area, as well as being a hybrid electric hypercar. That's pretty cool. One of the holy trinity in cars. The front lip of the car seems to be inspired by the Trion Nemesis, while the headlights seem to be borrowed from the GTA Spano. That's an interesting one. The rear area is somewhat based on the LaFerrari with a similar glass engine cover formation, although the taillights are similar to those on the Ferrari and Mazzanti Avantra. Okay, never heard of either of those, but... I'll take their word for it. The shape of the rear seems to bear some resemblance to the McLaren P1, while the diffuser looks similar to the one from the Corvette C7. I did have to do some selling and rearranging of cars to fit this one in, but you know, it's worth it, especially since the car I sold was a duplicate anyway. We are going to head down to LSIA as we used to always do. We will get our performance test. We will head up to Los Santos Customs and get our customization. Check that out. See what Rockstar put on this very exclusive podium variant of it. So I will see you all very shortly down at Los Santos International Airport. Alrighty, here we are down at LSIA. We can get a much closer look. But before we do that, I just want to say if you enjoy this video at any point go ahead and leave a like and or a comment it's very appreciated if you leave a comment i don't care about likes but leave a comment i will keep reiterating that because reiterating that because i want to read your comments and i can't do that if you don't leave your comment so please do that if you would like to see more videos such as this go ahead and subscribe turn post notifications on so you never miss out when i upload new ones and it helps me out your subscription definitely helps me out if you don't want to do that Totally fine. Totally up to you. It's 100% free, so, you know, it's kind of embarrassing if you don't do that, but it's totally up to you. Totally up to you. You can always unsubscribe if you decide you don't want to be subscribed. Whatever. You can always watch videos without subscribing. Just check out my channel. It's up to you. Maybe that'll cause you to subscribe. I don't know. But anyway, take a closer look. It kind of looks like it's got, like, a little bit of a mc... Mm kind of the mclaren like papaya orange kind of but it's like darker like more of a r red leaning kind of it's a very interesting uh, like it's a very interesting color i gotta be honest mono wiper not in the middle though kind of weird about that we got the turismo r badging down there of course and on that very very cool let's go ahead and open up all of the doors it is very unfortunate that there are not butterfly doors in this. Ooh. I do like that this opens up backwards, though. I wasn't expecting that. This exhaust kind of reminds me of the Entity XF, I believe, or XXR. The hood doesn't open, which I don't think the LaFerrari done one does either, Which so that kind of makes sense. Nice. Not bad. Very detailed for... Is that manual? I can't tell. Can I... If I do this... Uh, oh, wow. Look at that detail. That's insane. 
What do we got there? Is that the parking brake? I can't tell. It might be. Uh, maybe not. Uh, it might be. I don't know. Probably not. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's very detailed. All the carbon fiber. You can see that. I'm kind of glad I did pull out the sniper to look at this because this is very nice. I like this stitching here. I think that may be... Well, that'll either be trim or secondary color. But otherwise, wow, very... Not what it could be, that's for sure, but it is very detailed. I can't deny that, and I have to appreciate it. I don't have this vehicle pre-already, aside from this one. So, it will just be this single test. So, we'll get that started. Let's hear the exhaust note again. Will we start up? Yeah, the Zentorno is like that too. It kind of revs it up. It's different every time, but it kind of does that. I do like the sound. Let's give it a couple of revs. Oh, like I can, I can, if I close my eyes, I can picture myself being in my Zentorno, which I customized recently to be like the Sesto Elemento. Very cool. Alright. Uh, interior. Very race car-esque. Very, very cool. Alright. We'll get our acceleration starting now. It revs all the way up to 10,000. Wow. Theoretically. Uh, we're about to hit 100 right there. We'll carry it over to the other side, try and keep the momentum. Very easily, barely had to touch the stick. We're at 10, like 109, 110 almost. So 109 is about the top speed. We will swing around to the other side and get the two-way, of course. Otherwise, it's not legit in the eyes of the Guinness Book of World Records. I gotta say, even without a spoiler, this car has very good traction. Like, this is all the way to one side or the other, and it's not wavering at all. So, because of that, we weren't able to get the two-way top speed, but one, 109, 110 is about what we got on the other side, so... We can do our brake check now. We will, of course, start with the e-brake. Alright, so from roughly top speed, we'll hit the e-brake right there, right at the end of those white lines. I've definitely seen better, but I've seen worse, so that's pretty good. We will head back to the other side, get the regular brake. Alrighty, so from roughly top speed, once again, we'll hit the regular brake from there, from the end of the white line from before the end of the white line to the end of the white line. So that's pretty good, right on par with what I remember roughly how we normally did. Now we will head up to Los Santos Customs and see what Rockstar put on this and what else can be put on it. Alrighty, so really quick, we'll just fly through these. Ooh. Currently this event week, armor and bulletproof tires are 100% discounted, so normally I don't, but it's free, so I might as well. Uh, engine, you can see the stats and all that. Okay, exhaust, there's your stock, oval, chrome tip, and race. There you go, explosives, horn. Uh, this one is the stock of all stocks. <laughs> uh, there's the Xenons, Neon, uh, Plate, Respray, Rockstar put a color that we will never know. Uh, this will change 
interestingly enough, not the entire body, so you can make some good color combos with that, I guess, spec combos. So it looks like the secondary color will do the rest of that, the mirrors, the stitching. And Rockstar put on the Torino Red. Nice. And that will change, yep. Like I said, the stitching. Brakes, no, not the brakes. Okay, Corumblum go right there, very, kind of large, middle of the door, right in the uh, air duct. Ooh, I didn't even notice that. That duct going to the back wheel, that's pretty cool. Uh, the roof, you have a painted roof, so if you wanted to do that all stock, or all one color, instead of carbon, I feel like that'll be the primary color. I'm not positive. If I were to sell it, it would be f nothing, carbon wing, and GT wing, nothing too spectacular as to be expected from an old car. Personally, I would put either the GT wing or nothing because it is a technically the LaFerrari and it doesn't really have that kind of a spoiler. It does have like an active... It doesn't like retract or pop up or anything, but it does kind of act as like an air brake. It kind of... kind of what the X80 Proto has. It's kind of like one of those. It moves, but it doesn't, like, pop up like the P1 or us or anything like that. All right, suspension. It's already very low. It barely noticeable going from competition to stock, so you might as well just leave it stock if you want to keep the cost low, although it is very cheap. Let's hear the turbo sounds. Ooh, you can hear that spool up. Very nice. And of course, the blow off. Uh, tires. We got all this good stuff. So, these are colored, maybe? No, not really. They look darker, but they're not, like, they're not colored. I, oh, I was just gonna say, I don't think these are unique. And there you go. Uh, which ones was it? The chromatic Z's? Might might have just been... Chromatic Z... It might be a little darker. Because there, there's no, like... There's no chrome version of the chromatic Z's. So it might be colored a little differently. Or maybe it's just like that stock to begin with. I'm not positive, I wouldn't know. Bulletproof tires, why not? Because they are free this week. Other than that, oh, we got the windows. So only, oh, I was gonna say only light and dark smoke, but the limo is there still. And that will tint the back window as well. There's your viewing ability. The windows kind of look well, maybe it's just the texture of the wall behind it. I was going to say the windows kind of look uh, like they've got that smudgy feel, kind of, that some of the untextured windows do, or weirdly textured ones. All right, so that is the customization of the Turismo R. I believe we couldn't see the primary color, but I believe it is Turismo or Torino Red section like the secondary color. Uh, the mirrors, though, I want to talk about those for a second. Why... <laughs> what is going on? I mean, if you look... If you look at a LaFerrari... And you look at the mirrors... They do have, like, these stock... They are kind of high, but they're not that high. They're, like... In comparison to the A-pillar... The actual LaFerrari mirrors are, like, in the middle, but they've got this long stock that goes from the bottom of the A-pillar up to the mirror. Uh, these kind of look like ears. If you look at it this way, it looks like a face, and it's got, like, those ears. Whereas the actual 
LaFerrari actually looks good. I can't complain because this is a seven-year-old car at this point, but um, it's just, it looks kind of weird, Rockstar. All right, we will head back to the garage and wrap this up. Really quickly, before we head into the garage, I just want to look at the lights. So there's your regulars, there's your high beams, it just brightens them, and you can see the logo on the front also turns on as it's illuminated. So that's pretty cool. There's your reverse lights. There's your brake lights. There are no reverse lights. That's, that's kind of weird. Uh, there's your illumination distance and with the high beams on. All right, we will head into, this is of course in this garage, the main sports car garage. This is a supercar, yes, but it's like the higher end sports cars and like Super supercars. I guess that is kind of supercar overflow. Oh yeah, because the sports cars are in the office garage one. Alrighty, there you have it. The Grotti Turismo R right in between the Vision and the Entity XX. Uh, uh, is it the XXR? Uh, the hold on. The Entity X. I think it's the XXR. Yes. Okay. Yes. It is the XXR. Th I gotta say, this does kind of look matte, seeing it in here like this, but it, I believe it is metallic, or at least classic. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, turn post notifications on so you never miss out when I upload new videos. That being said, I hope to see as many people as I can in whatever the next one happens to be. Take care, everybody.